I got a call saying that this was a new channel and would I be interested in doing it? And I, I don't know, let's see, I had, seems to me I had, I'd left NBC, I'd left, I'd done my, I left, no, I left McNeil Lair, that's right, to teach, that's right, I resigned from there to go teach. And, uh, and so, it was some time after that that the History Channel called, and 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 uh, while I was teaching at Princeton, as a matter of fact, and uh, uh, would I be interested? So I had a long talk with them, and it, it's uh, they sounded serious about it, and so uh, so they would uh, they would send me the uh, the. Uh, they had no in-house production. They used uh, freelance producers, which was the great weakness of the History Channel because there was no editorial control, you know, no Rolodex for the uh, for the for the History Channel people to call and call Jim McPherson at Princeton and say, "We've got a Civil War documentary. How does it sound to you?" To make sure that it was, you know, on target. And they got caught a couple times putting on the air that, you know, historically was inaccurate. But anyway, uh, I agreed and uh, they would send me the, 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 the tapes and transcripts of the history of the documentaries and I would, this was, uh, and so I would, I would write the introductions and the closes to put them in context and I would go up to New York maybe every other week and I'd do, record the opens and closes of, of uh, two weeks worth of, of uh, programs, so I could continue to teach at the same time. And so uh, we did a lot of interesting work, um, uh, but uh, but toward the end, toward the end of my time, uh, uh, they began to, uh, uh, they got caught up in the ratings business. They, they wanted the ratings, and so they began to uh, cheapen the product, I thought. And I got uh, less and less happy about the, the, the path they were taking. Because all this marvelous history uh, that they could have done and, uh, and, and didn't do. And so uh, finally, uh, finally I, I thought uh, my contract was uh, expiring, and I uh, I let them know that I thought I uh, didn't want to renew it, but I really would like to do uh, a f a f four hours with four interesting. So I did an hour. Uh, the last things I did for them, I did an hour with Sandra Day O'Connor. I did an hour with John Updike. I did an hour with the architect of the Twin Towers, whose name I, I'm blanking on, and I did an hour with Walter Cronkite, and that was that was the and I left after that, uh, and that made it uh, 2004, I guess, and then I've been unemployed <laughs> ever since. Yeah.